Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the Essential DVE Transition Template. This template can be used to not only create basic transitions like pushing, zooming, and rotations, but also complex animation styles like spin, swing, and many other 3D effects. You can combine multiple base animation effects and create advanced and truly unique transition styles, the possibilities are limitless. For those who want to learn more about the Fusion template, I will walk you through the steps on creating a custom spin transition template in the Fusion page later on. As always, you can download and install the template through the link provided in the description below. Once the template is installed, you can use it like any other transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Drag it from the effects panel and apply to the middle of two clips on the timeline. The default transition is a 3D flying animation. Go to the Transition tab in the Inspector. These are the standard transition options at the top. Change the duration and alignment. Next are the parameters for the DVE transitions. These buttons are used to select preset transitions with specific parameter values. You can think of them as shortcuts and examples of how to tweak the options to achieve the result effects. Default button resets all settings as if it was first loaded. Dissolve is the simplest effect, it only dissolves the images from one to another. All animation effects are turned off. Zoom button turns on the zoom in effect and dissolve. This effect zooms out the outgoing image and zooms in the incoming one. You can change the zoom type to zoom out, which zooms in the first image and zooms out the second one. Slide animation simply slides in the second clip. When this option is enabled, we can change the slide angle to change the sliding direction. Change to 90, it will slide down. Minus 90 to slide up. We can also change the slide mode to push. In this mode, it pushes the first image out as the second one comes in. The push also works diagonally if the angle is set to not straight. Rotate is another base transition style. This also enables the dissolve option. It rotates the images by the value specified in the rotation angle parameter. 180 is the default, we can change it to any other value we like. The pivot option controls the axis of the rotation, by default it's the center of the image. We can change that to create some special rotation effects. Turning on the dynamic Z move option creates an effect of zoom out and zoom in, giving the transition a bit of dynamic touch. Spin H turns on the horizontal flip effect, and disables all others. It also sets the ease out curve to back, giving the animation that elastic, bouncy feel. Of course, you can always change the curve to others to suit your needs. To have this spin-like result, the flip angle must be set to 180. You can set the value however you like. The result will not be a simple spin, but it's still interesting. Similarly, changing the pivot can create some unique animation styles. For example, we can have a spin effect of stretching and flipping. We can also change the flip direction to counterclockwise. Spin V is similar to the previous one, but instead spins vertically to reveal the incoming image. 
which turns on the vertical flip effect. The options are the same ones used by the horizontal flip effect. You can adjust these settings to customize the animation style. Flip H is basically the same one as Spin H, but with the pivot set to the edge on the left. The animation looks like flipping out the first image and flipping in the second one. Similarly, Flip V is a variation of Spin V, with the pivot set to the bottom edge. Swing H is another variation of Spin H. It swings out the first clip and swings in the second one. The only difference between this one and the spin, it's the Z pivot. When the Z pivot is set to none zero, the rotation axis is set behind the image for a minus value or in the front for a positive value. In this case, it's set to minus 0.25, which sets the rotation axis behind the image and makes the rotation look like a swing. If you like a more punchy animation, you can enable the dynamic Z move option. Just like the swing H, swing V is based on spin V, but with a non-zero Z pivot. It swings the images downward to make the transition. Change the direction to swing up the images. Cut is based on the rotate effect. It sets the pivot to the corner and disables the dissolve options. The final result looks like a cut animation. Cube is also a variation of spin effect, which turns on only the horizontal flip effect. To achieve this cube 3D transition effect, the flip angle must be set to 90 and pivot set to minus 0.5. You can turn off the dynamic Z move to have a static cube rotation. Cube 2 simply changes the Z pivot to positive 0.5. This makes the transition look like from the inside of a cube. Cube V turns on the vertical flip effect. It sets the flip angle to 90 and Z pivot to about minus 0.28. This rotates the cube vertically. If you want to see the rotation from inside of the cube, change the Z pivot to positive. Shuffle transition enables zoom in and slide effects and creates an effect like shuffling cards. Fly one enables zoom in, push in both flip effects and creates a flying down effect. You can change these settings to customize the effect. For example, set the slide angle to 180, the result is now flying up. Fly 2 is another cool flying effect. It enables all effects except the horizontal flip. And Fly 3 is an example of enabling horizontal and vertical flips but flipping at different directions. The last flip 3D effect is based on the flip V options, but with the Z pivot set to minus 0.25. Next are the curve options we can use to smooth the transition, the default is set to ease, and we can select preset the curves from these two drop-down lists. or change it to linear. Set to custom and create our own curves. The last option is motion blur. If you want the transition to have a more realistic look and feel, you can turn on this option. But please note, this will slow down the playback and require longer time to render the cache. The higher the quality, 
the slower the rendering process. In addition to transition between images, we can also use the effect to reveal titles and images. For example, rotating in a title like this. This is basically a rotation effect, with the pivot set to the first letter of the title. When the fusion overlay is enabled, you can move the pivot point directly in the viewer. To duplicate the animation for the ending, hold Alt or Option key, drag the transition to the end. Now we have the reversed animation to close the title. To match animation style, we can change the direction to counterclockwise and set the ease in curve to back and out to sign. This looks good. We can also reveal an overlay image like this. This is a vertical swing transition. Change the Z pivot to minus 0.35. Set the flip angle to 75, so the image is not visible at the start. Change the flip direction to clockwise to swing up the image. Or turn on the horizontal flip to swing out the image horizontally. Similarly, duplicate the transition to the ending. Change the curves to match the starting style. OK, these are the typical scenarios of using this DVE transition template. If you want to create your own transition template, or want to know more about the fusion tools used in the template, you can stay with me. I will explain the details of how to create this template in the fusion page. To create a custom transition template, we start from the simple Fusion Cross Dissolve transition. Open the transition in the Fusion page. Ungroup the Cross Dissolve group. Dissolve node is the only node used. We will keep it for the new template. If we check the inspector, the background foreground parameter is modified with a modifier, Anincurves1. Anincurves is a powerful and convenient tool for animations, it automatically adjusts the value from 0 to 1 based on the transition length. As the transition runs, the value is changed from 0 to 1, and the image is transitioned from background median 1 to foreground median 2. Select median 2, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a DVE node after media in 2. For this demo, we will create the vertical spin effect, which is animating the rotation X parameter. Modify the parameter with an expression. You can either right click and choose the expression from the menu, or enter the equal sign in the input field to enable the expression field. Modify the expression as shown on the screen. This simple expression sets the rotation X value from 180 to 0. As we run the transition, visually it rotates media in two from the back to the front. Anincurves 1 is the modifier for the background foreground option in the dissolve node. It returns an animated value from 0 to 1 and can be also used in simple expressions to animate other parameters from any node in the current composition. To achieve the spin effect, we need to apply a similar rotation effect to the outgoing image, which is media in 1. Copy the DVE node, select media in 1, press Ctrl V or choose paste from the context menu. This automatically inserts a DVE node after media in 1. Since this is a copy of the first DVE node, the rotation X has the same simple expression. It rotates from 180 to 0, which is not what we need. To spin out the first image, it should spin from the front to back, 0 to 180. Modify the expression to minus anincurves, 1 dot value multiply 180. Now we have the spin effect to transition from image 1 to image 2. However, in the meantime, it also dissolves the images, which can be distracting from the spin effect. To address this, Add a merge node to the editor. 
link the background DVE as the merge background. Media in 2 DVE to the foreground input. Reconnect the media out to the merge node. But the image 2 is now always blocking the first one because it's linked as the foreground and default operator is over. So we will modify this option with a simple expression as shown here. This expression sets the operator to under for the first half of the transition. Now, the second image is like the backside and spinning out as the transition runs. OK, this is how we modify the simple cross dissolve transition to a spin transition in the Fusion page. To reuse the transition later in the edit page or in different projects, we will need to save it as a template. Select all the nodes in the editor, right-click the selected node, choose Create Macro from the menu. In the Macro Editor window, enter a name for the transition, for example, Spin Tutorial. Select Save as Group from the Option menu. And save the template to Templates, Edit, Transitions, Tutorial. Since I don't have the Tutorial subfolder, I can manually create one. Close the macro editor and go back to the edit page. Now I have the tutorial folder under video transitions. Drag and apply the spin tutorial transition. That's it. We have now created a transition template and can use it directly in the edit page, just like any other built-in transitions. All right. This was a quick tutorial for a simple spin transition. If you want to explore more with the downloaded DVE transition, you can open it in the Fusion page and check details of the nodes yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave comments with questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.